I wanted to make a quick video of um, the control or potential control of Bermuda grass in cool season grasses and specifically up here in Michigan um, uh, my lawn is a 60% Kentucky bluegrass about a 40% perennial ryegrass and um, Bermuda grass over the last several years has kind of crept into my yard from I don't know where um, but it's become a real a real issue so did some research watched some YouTube videos and uh, there was a product called Pylex it's spelled P-Y-L-E-X made by BASF uh, that is a product that is advertised to control Bermuda grass in cool season turf so looked into it purchased it and um, I, I guess one of the biggest concerns was the price of the product uh, right now four ounces of it um, is selling for about two hundred and sixty dollars on do my own pest control or some of the other uh, do my own sites uh, on the internet so it's expensive now the the mix rate um, is about one milliliter per gallon so I'm, I'm just a homeowner and uh, you know I I'm, I'm not talking about per thousand square feet I don't necessarily understand the, the square footage um, uh, talk that some of the, the professional guys talk about but um, it's about one milliliter uh, per gallon and then I mixed it with an MSO uh, methylated seed oil uh, that I also bought. Uh, so I bought the Pylex from Do My Own Pest Control. I also bought the methylated seed oil from Do My Own Pest Control. And uh, I, I guess what that second product does is it, uh, you know, it it makes it uh, kind of stick to uh, the Pylex, stick to and penetrate the Bermuda grass. Um, and uh, you know makes it more effective. I've, I've also heard about uh, adding a product, another herbicide uh, to the mix for a spot spraying called triclofer. And I tried this first round uh, without the triclofer uh, just to see what would happen. Um, so uh, again, um, you know, very well established lawn. Um, the Bermuda started to uh, invade my lawn. Uh, I'm up here in, in Michigan. Um, started to invade the lawn about five years ago and it's slowly grown from you know just a small spot that I noticed to several spots. Um, and now you know it probably I'd say uh, on a 12,000 square foot lawn um, you know, I've got um, maybe about a tenth of that uh, that has Bermuda uh, mixed into it, and it, it's just it's it's not uh, it's not great because it looks different. Um, it is not really active in the early spring or in the fall. Uh, it kind of dies off and makes your grass look uh, junky, uh, and in the summer it takes off and it kind of uh, drowns out the rest of your turf, the, the primary turf that you're trying to grow. So um, I mixed uh, four gallons total uh, with four milliliters of the Pylex. Um, and apparently uh, with a four ounce container of Pylex at $260, you can make about 118 gallons of this solution. So it's, it's a lot. It, it's, a, it's a small container, uh, but it makes a lot of solution uh, to combat the Bermuda grass. 
So, um, basically just uh, kind of showing you the result of the spot spraying about six days uh, after I sprayed it with the one milliliter per gallon um, with the MSO uh, mixed in. And this is what it is looking like. So you can see, um, you know, the Bermuda grass, I mean, it, it, it's super annoying because it uh, has these uh, runners that, you know, come up into your landscaping. Um, it's super coarse. It, it looks very different uh, than a Kentucky bluegrass or a perennial ryegrass that we have up here in Michigan. But six days in, you know, you can see uh, that it's bleaching. It's turning white. Um, it's tough initially because, you know, some spots, uh, the Bermuda grass has something called stolons that kind of run across, or I'm sorry, under uh, kind of where you can see the grass. And so you can't catch all of it initially. Uh, but in some spots, it has just done an incredible job of bleaching and hopefully killing the Bermuda in, in my cool season grass. So again, this is about six days in, and this was the, the worst spot uh, that I had the Bermuda here. And this is kind of the border between my lawn and my neighbor's lawn. And he has Bermuda in his lawn uh, as well. Uh, and you can't really see that right now, but you can see where um, I've sprayed on kind of the border and where his grass is just pure green, but it still has Bermuda in there that is still active. So, um, just, uh, you know, throwing a video out there uh, about Pilex, the, um, the, the price for a homeowner uh, does seem somewhat high but my understanding is that the bottle of Pilex should be good for about five years as long as it's it's stored properly and and you know is not left to freeze something like that um so the one other thing that I guess I should mention is that with the use of this you're supposed to apply it in late summer before preceding and have three applications uh, and then try to overseed in the late growing season in, in September and October here in Michigan. Uh, so I've put my first application down. There are two more applications that I plan on putting down. Uh, the next one coming in about uh, you know just over two weeks since it's only been six days since my first one. But I will uh, make another video and you know let everyone know kind of what's happening with the pilex uh, and the bermuda grass um, with the the following applications and then hopefully with a follow-up video you know next season and going forward um, so anyway uh thanks for checking it out um more to come and uh, we'll see you soon.